Hello everyone, welcome to Coding with Ivan. So from now on this channel, I'll also make videos on Flutter development. So in today's video, we're going to get started with Flutter. So let's see how we can install Flutter in our PC and get started with that. So for this at first, I'll go to my browser and search for Flutter. Uh, sorry, Flutter installation. Okay. And then we'll go to the link of docs.flutter.dev. And I also give the links in the description from there. You can visit that. And from this link at first, I'll click on the windows here because I'm installing this on my windows pc if you have mac then you can click on this one same for linux and chrome OS. so i'll click on windows and here we have the required uh, files and processes so at first we have to download the following installation bundle okay so let's download that i'll just click on this uh, button here it will start downloading the uh, stable version of flutter which is currently 3.3.9 so let's wait for this to complete all right so our download is now complete so now for the second point we have to extract the zip files and place them uh, place the contained flutter in the desired installation location for the flutter sdk for example okay so we have this in our c drive by default okay that's not the problem and then we have to if you don't want to install a fixed version of installation bundle install, okay so now now we have to update our path so for this at first we have to uh, from the start search bar enter environment and then select edit environment variable for your account okay so at first let's extract this uh, file here okay where is view okay view large icons okay so here I'll just extract this to this folder. Let's wait for this to complete. Okay, so our file has been extracted and here inside we have this flutter and here we have all these uh, packages, okay so now if we go back to the browser at first we have to add the path environment so we have to go to the environment variables for your account okay so let's go to the search bar and start for environment edit environment variables for your account let's click on that okay so here we have this and here what they're saying is uh, we have to add the path for the flutter bin folder and if there is an existing path then we have to use semicolon as the separator if the editor doesn't exist then we have to create a new user variable named path with the full path to flutter bin okay so here you already have a path variable so we're going to edit this one so i'll click on edit and here we have to add a new a new path for the flutter bin folder okay so we have to go here inside i'll go to the bin folder and now i'll copy the whole path from here okay copy this go back to android studio sorry go back to the uh, environment variable and here we'll add a new path i'll paste it here and then i'll click on ok so it's now here and i'll click on okay so it's done okay so to reopen existing console for changes take effect okay and then we have to run flutter doctor okay so let's try this on our cmd uh, here is the console we'll run flutter doctor this can take some time so let's wait for this command to finish okay so here it says welcome to flutter and it's running flutter pub get in flutter tools so our flutter has been installed on this device so here are the diagnostics for the uh, pub get report 
for the flutter doctor so here as you can see we have tick marks for all these and we have a cross for the visual studio because i don't have uh, visual studio currently in my device so it's uh, showing a cross here but we don't need to worry about that we will work on android studio with flutter so we can just close this and now we can start with our android studio so let's see what it says here install android studio set up android device the debugging vm okay so let's go to android studio and here i have just opened a random project so at first i'll go to the file and then i'll go to settings and from here i'll go to plugins and here at first inside the marketplace i'll search for flutter okay so i'll just install this flutter package here i'll click on install accept and let's wait for this to complete so here it's saying install required plugin so it needs dart to be installed let's also install that i'll click on install okay so as you can see our plugins has been installed so it's showing restart ide so it needs to restart the ide to take effect so i'll click on here restart and let's wait for android studio to restart okay so our android studio has been restarted so here it says welcome to flutter so flutter is now installed okay so let's check that uh, for this at first i'll go to file and if we go to new here as you can see now under this new project it's showing new flutter project okay so let's uh, run a test flutter project to see if it's working or not so i'll click on this new flutter project and here at first we have to select flutter and then we have to pass the flutter sdk path so let's get the path for the flutter sdk so here previously we opened the bin folder now we'll just go back once inside this flutter folder so i'll just copy the path of this flutter folder and get back to our android studio and here i'll paste the path here okay and i'll click on next and then we have to give a project name so let's say uh, first project okay and remember that uh, in our flutter projects we have to give the project name in uh, small letters okay and the project location let's keep it inside here for now description let's keep it as it is project type is application if you are making a flutter app then uh, make sure you are selecting application if you are working on a flutter plugin then you can uh, choose plugin from here we'll choose application we can change the package name and then for the um, recompiling from dart to native by default it's selected kotlin and for ios uh, it's selected swift we'll keep it as it is and for platform you can choose any one of them for compatibility uh, let's keep uh, all of this okay and then we'll click on finish here let's wait for this to create so we'll open the project on this window so click on that okay so our flutter project build is complete so now i'll just quickly connect my android device to this pc and i'll show you the output so here is my um, device and now if we run our project we'll see the output here so here as you can see our app is now installed on our device so by default if we create a project in flutter we'll get this ui so here we have a floating action button if we click on that the text will increase here okay so that's the screen so as you can see here inside um, the android studio all our dart codes that we have to write we have to write it inside this lib folder 
and here currently uh, by default we have um, only one file which is called a main.dirt so here inside this main.dirt we have this class my app which has a build method so inside this build method we have a material app we have the title the theme and for the home page we have this my home page uh, widget here which is a stateful widget and inside this we have um, a counter variable and this is the method to increase the counter by one and this uh, set state uh, what it basically does is it updates the ui uh, whenever it it's called uh, like if we increment the value by one and we call the set state then it will update the ui with the increased value okay then we have a build method here which contains a scaffold and inside the scaffold we have this app bar inside the app bar we have the title which is a text widget this one and inside the body it uh, contains a center widget which makes all the child's inside uh, the center position of the screen and then we have the column inside the column at first we have uh, a text which uh, which says you have pushed the button this many times and under this we have another text that contains the counter variable and whenever we click on this floating action button it calls the increment counter which uh, basically increases the counter and calls the set state so our value gets updated automatically okay so that's how we can uh, install flutter in our pc and get started with that uh, i made this video like very randomly so uh, on our next videos we'll learn more about flutter development and thank you so much for watching guys